Hello everyone, this is your host Sharon Sirota at Sungate Center and I'd like to welcome to the call today Dr. Peggy Crow. Welcome Dr. Peg. Thank you Sharon, it's great to be back. Yes. Second visit and it's we have some session exciting today. things to talk about today. Absolutely. So today I'd like to welcome you to our call about color. How does color influence us and what does it really mean? Because every human has a main hue or a main color in our life. So how colorful is our life? Um, more than you can begin to imagine. Uh, there's actually information, if you're a Bible person, you can find out information in the Bible about hues. Um, I went to a workshop and we talked about that every person has a predominant color ray, we'll call that, as to how you relate to um, your environment and where you go to when you're challenged. Um, when Sharon and I first talked, we were, ta we were sharing, and what Sharon likes to do, um, not when she's stressed, but just all the time, her natural response to everything is Sharon goes into teaching. She likes, she's a natural born teacher. She's always sharing information and sharing her heart. And the natural teachers actually carry the ray of blue, which is kind mm -hmm. of like, we'll start there. So Sharon's, we, uh, we think. Very you know, interesting. It's very <laughs> inter and she kind of went, oh, yeah, that, <laughs> that sounds like me. Mm -hmm. And we talk about people who are, ooh, drama people, the drama queens. And they're, they're flamboyant and they get excited and they're very um, artistic and, and, and a lot of flair. And they tend to be our purples. And they're, you know, the royal color, and they get real excited. It's a higher vibration. And, mm -hmm. you know, oh, a little bit here. Right. Um, and we're our, wearing clothes today yeah. that are both purple. We, purple tones. We, we did not plan this, oh. but it, it worked out it that worked way. It worked out really well because these are helper colors for each other, um, which is kind of a little bit more red and black in mine, and you're a little bit more blue and, and purpley for you. I mean, it was really good. Um, my daughter, her life is about having a good time. She's all about the party. Mm -hmm. And, you know, and when she's stressed, she laughs. Doesn't matter what it is, she laughs. And she loves to smile and have a good time. And so she's actually an orange. So they really do follow, um, we'll call it the rainbow. So reds are, think about the Red Cross. We are the rescuers. We are know how to put things in their place. We're great in emergency. Um, if you need phone a friend when you've got a problem, you call a red. Because they're there in a minute. They get it done. Um... And then they're pretty good about just, you know, they kind of wander away, but they're really good. I tend to be a red. If you need something done, call Peg. It, you know, <laughs> she's going <laughs> to, on target, you know, just get it done. Um, it's kind of like help or get out of the way because when I'm on target and I know what I need to get done, it's like kind of like a bull, but it's really powerful mm -hmm. to work with. Um, Absolutely. And just amazing how people just have a different flair for certain colors. And I know, Peg, that you have, Dr. Peg, that you have information about this, that how to determine what color that you naturally are. It's kind of a fun process because I, when I went to the original workshop I went to, um, I did not want to be a red. I don't know why I didn't want to be a red, but I didn't want to be a red. And we went through this little game we did, and we filled out little forms, and it's like, oh, my gosh, that is me. I do do that, and people do respond to me that way. So, um coming up um, July mm -hmm. 9th. Yes, in right. July uh, Dr. Pag will be offering a class here at Sungate Center about color and you can find out what main hue color that you are. That makes you human. That's right, <laughs> absolutely. And, and how people, maybe opposites, do attract in their colors, mm -hmm. right, to help each other, to help balance each other. Can you we speak a little that. bit more about that? Um, it's, yes, I actually um, work with a lot of color. I, I do artwork, and I, I uh, for fun, I work at a paint desk, and I see how the colors play with each other. And I see when we put certain colors together, how they can either really enhance something, or um, and sometimes they balance it. And I've noticed that people in their lives actually work the same way. So you know, somehow, um, I can take my sister and her husband. They happen to be uh, yellow and green or blue. They are best buds. They are perfectly balanced. They balance each other. They have similar interests, and they just really do an amazing job together. Um, for a while, I was married to somebody who was my absolute opposite, and it was great for learning about myself, but down the road, it provided um, a lot of contrast. And now I'm learning mm -hmm. to play with people who are um, 
more like helper colors because that provides a lot of fun and a lot a different kind of balance right so you're attracting different colors of people into your life like you said you know you painted a room one year and then five years later you want to paint it another color because you want to change the color in your life right now, thank you for reminding me i i had um i had was going through a lot of challenge in my life and i needed things to be very calm and i painted it this beautiful blue color and it was almost too calm. And I came home one day from something and I want, and I said, you know what? I am done being blue mm -hmm. because it had gotten to be too much blue. And I went out and bought a can of paint. And by the time my daughter got home from prom, I had changed the color <laughs> in the whole room. <laughs> and she was surprised as well. <laughs> and it was right? like, oh, mom, I guess you're done being blue. So, mm -hmm. it, 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 and I'm very affected by color. You know, you're very drawn to certain things and other things not so much. And um, it's, my daughter needed her room to be a certain color. We painted it, and she loves it, you know. Mm -hmm. So Absolutely. it really makes a difference. And right. I, I'm challenged when people come in and say, oh, I saw this color in someone's house, and they said it was so pretty, and I, I think I should paint that in my room. And it's like, but is that a color you like? Did you ever wear mm -hmm. that color? Mm -hmm. You know, right. how do you feel in that color, you know? So it's really very personal. Right, and it's personality, right? It, it has a lot of personality to do with it. shines through what colors that you're attracted to and what color that you are. And also, you know, there's colors in the chakras. You know, we were talking about that yeah, before. That's great. The colors in the body and can you explain that? It really um most people who are metaphysical are aware of chakras, um, body energy centers. They have basic colors we go with. We work with a rainbow, um, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, or violet. And the, the way each one of us is, again, a main ray. Um, but you can also use those colors to balance chakras. And sometimes the people you are attracted to in your life at different times are really about helping you balance your chakras energetically, and you're not even aware of that. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's very um, interesting. And I tend to, I didn't know why I was doing this, but I tend to always put on two colors that were like opposite. I wear coral and, and turquoise a lot. Mm -hmm. Well, that's second chakra and fifth chakra which often they need to be balanced so that not only you're creative, but you're able to speak your truth and show your creativity in a way that they can manifest and, and, and be uh, you know, seen by other people. So I was doing a lot of that. Um, mm -hmm. And there's just a lot of things you can play with, with color, how you feel. Um, there's muscle testing you can do. It, you know, what are you attracted to? And, and it changes. Mm -hmm. And it changes with your life and as you change. Right, right. And, you know, chakra means spinning wheel. It's like the energies are spinning mm -hmm. throughout the body. And we talk about the color wheel. Right. right. There's also the color wheel. So the colors in the wheel, like we said, oh. there's primary, there's secondary. And tertiary. And tertiary, right. right? Mm -hmm. So there's three different types of colors mm -hmm. that we could be attracted to or there's colors in between and I know that and, you and they do that. yeah and they the colors are um, sometimes they're like across the wheel which are your like balance you um, the colors on either side of those are like a helper color and they enhance it and sometimes you put colors together um, on purpose that are really different but they bring out the best so if you put purple and like orange next to mm -hmm. that you're gonna why would you do that because right. it allows both of them to really be in their power and you see the best you know some people really bring out the best in each other mm -hmm. and some people not so much but yeah you'd like to pick ones that really bring out and you see who you play nice with what colors really make each other show up um, I was asked to paint a horse of a different color and um, it was an orange horse and they actually used blue and purple as the contrasting because it just brought the whole thing to life mm -hmm. and it was like wow so you can just really make things stand out by, by bringing color in. Right, right. And I know, like, yellow is a big color as well, mm -hmm. you know. And, um, and, you know, reds, you talked about reds before, how red is a very powerful color. And it means energy and passion. And For some people, danger, but it is about blood. Mm -hmm. It's about, you know, um, the earth. Mm -hmm. um, the Waimea Canyon in, in uh, Hawaii actually it means red earth. And it's about being earthy. Um, it's the, the call red is the grounding color, the root color. Um, like the red rock. Like the red in, rock. In Arizona. You know, red, or rock, red, red Rock Canyon. Mm -hmm. um, and it's, um, it's very grounding. Mm -hmm. And the Native Americans wear red socks um, to ground them, to keep them present here. Mm -hmm. And, and um, we use it as one that we can find more um, available in flowers. 
and we were attracted to it. Our eyes sees red. Mm -hmm. um, a lot of animals have red on them, like the ruby-throated uh, hummingbirds or bamboos. Different creatures have colors on them for reasons also. Mm -hmm. Right, so birds. So it, it's to get, you know, you know to catch right. your attention or to be aware of something. Mm -hmm. um, it, it's just fascinating, and, and it goes on and on and on. Yeah, you know? absolutely, absolutely. And I know there's going to be so much more information that you'll be sharing with us in the class regarding color, and uh, it's very exciting. So... Thank you so much, Dr. Peck, for joining us today. Thank you, Sharon. I'm um, excited. Yes. Was there anything else that you'd like to uh, explain to the our group, our listeners today? Come and come, and we'll do like a, a mini color profile, and we'll see what your colors are and who the colors in your life may be. Um, it's nothing. It's it's another one of those guides that kind of gives you an idea of you know when someone's having a moment, you can say, oh, they're just being red or they're just being green, and then you can just kind of nod and smile and say, oh, that's that's just part of who they are, and you know, just one more clue as to um, mm -hmm. why we're such colorful human <laughs> beings, and and uh, you know. Yep. Life is colorful. Life is colorful. That's for sure. And, and that's a good way to be. Okay. Well, thank you so much again. Thanks. And for more information, uh, please contact SungateCenter.com, or you can call the number here. Uh, that's 847-345-0988. And thank you all very much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Mm -hmm.